Hey guys, this is Mr. Minecraft264 here again, and today I'm going to be showing you a Redstone Basics tutorial, and it's going to be in a series called From Basics to Buds. So, the basics will be this first episode is just going to be all the different ways that you can power Redstone, uh, and I think we're going to go as complex as super secret hidden piston doors, and maybe even eventually to computers. I just said Buds because it made it sound cool. So let me go back to showing my what I'm carrying. Um, so here's some of the different ways you can power redstone. Um, you find redstone in ore blocks when you mine, and you get this, which is redstone dust. Uh, you can place it down, and it makes a dot. And if you connect two or more dots, it gets a line. So here's some of the different ways to power the redstone lines and how and eventually throughout this video I'll be showing you a lot of all the different uses for this and giving some tutorials so uh, first way would be the lever so you craft a lever by putting a stick on a piece of cobblestone and these are all the different positions slash ways you can power redstone from a lever so it can be coming out from the block that the lever's on it can be going straight from the lever, or it can be on top of the block, underneath the block that the lever's on. So, levers are toggleable. They're either off or on. And moving on. So, the next way is buttons. So, buttons can also be powered straight from the thing itself. So, as you can see, it goes right here. Um, any direction that the button's touching it. Uh, it also works from the block underneath the, the block that the button's on, and it also goes from the block that the button's on. So, the difference between buttons and levers is buttons or buttons um, can only be placed on the sides of blocks, not on the top, or, uh, not on the top. And also the fact that they only give a pulse. They don't stay on or off. Next up, we have pressure plates. So, uh, there's stone and wooden. Oh, my bad. I'm going back to the button for a second. Uh, how you would craft a button is one piece of smooth stone here on top and one smooth piece of smooth stone underneath. So, next up is the pressure plates. So, we have the wooden pressure plates and the stone pressure plates. And... The difference between them, other than the material, is that if you throw an item on top of a wooden pressure plate, it gets set off, whereas if you do it to stone pressure plates, it doesn't matter how many you stack on there. Um, a stone pressure plate is smooth stone next to smooth stone. Wood pressure plate is uh, wood next to wood. So, again, you can power this from underneath too if you want some hidden redstone. Same thing with the wooden pressure plate. And then we have the torch. So the redstone torch is a constant source of power. You craft it by putting one piece of redstone um, on top of a stick and any redstone that you have leading to it or from it will be a constant source of power. Now there is ways to turn these off and I'll be showing you that in my next video, which will be on inverting torches and the RS NOR latch. Uh, moving on to the last thing, it is detector rails, which you craft the same way you would a normal minecart rail, except in the middle where you have the stick, you have uh, you underneath that piece you have one piece of redstone dust. So how that would go is in a crafting table, you do stick, uh, uh, my bad, iron, 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 just pretend that's still there, iron, my bad, iron, so the two, these two sides would be iron, and then stick here, and redstone here, so I know that was tough, and I should have just gotten a crafting table, but iron on the sides, stick in the middle, and redstone in the bottom middle. And the last way to power redstone will be through a detector rail. So, 
So it does exactly what it says when I push it over the detector rail. It sets it off and that either powers it straight from the side or from underneath if you so please. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you find it helpful. Well, I should be uploading these on a regular basis and they should be really basic for the first few episodes and then they should be moving on to better and greater things. So thanks for watching.